The Learn, Work, and Earn initiative is a comprehensive training and mentorship program that aims to empower Corp members serving in the National Youth Service Corps with the necessary skills and knowledge in the field of agriculture, transforming them into successful agricultural entrepreneurs. Our goal is to help young minds realize the immense potential and countless benefits of agriculture. From sustainable farming practices to innovative techniques, and also an opportunity to gain hands-on experience, work alongside industry experts, and unlock a world of possibilities in the agricultural sector. Here are the participants who have completed the one-year Learn, Work, and Earn program. My name is Agashi Charles. I hail from Kosovo State. I hold a bachelor's degree in microbiology from the University of Calabar. I'm an outgoing participant of this Learn, Work, and Earn program. My name is Ufoma Clifford Onerede. I'm from Delta State, and I study civil engineering from the Federal Protected Leader, Niger State. My name is Ashali Titibayo Homolola. I graduated from Russian State University, where I earned a degree in zoology. I am an outgoing participant of Learn, Work, and Earn program in French and France. My name is Ayuba Belakim Olamilek. I'm from Kwa State. I'm a student of civil engineering. I finished from the University of Belong. I am outgoing participant for the Work, Learn and Earn program at Wente Farm. My name is Olale Yabisola. I'm from Oshu State. I study microbiology from Oshu State Polytechnic. My name is Patrick Ikim. I'm from Kosovo State. I am a graduate from the University of Stafford. Graduated with Beef Fisheries, Bachelor of Fisheries. I am an outgoing participant in the Learn, Work and Earn program here in Bonji. So far, so good. My journey with the Learn, Work and Earn program has really been incredibly fulfilling. I'm proud to this time. I have little knowledge on agriculture, but this hand on experience has not only exposed me but has deepened my understanding on the basic technology of agriculture, cultivation, managing of greenhouse and open field and all of that. It has also given me the opportunity to leverage on projects and initiatives. This has also gone beyond just managing the greenhouse. It has provided um, income for me and it has been financially um, helpful and accomplished. So I'm so happy to be part of this. Well, well, it has been exciting, ethic, and knowledgeable so far. Yeah, it's been an experience so far. You know, coming into an environment or a field whereby it's, it's different from what you've been to the four corner of the university to do. But then for the period of a year now, going to a year now, it's been a great experience. Learning new things entirely. You know, getting to do things with your own hand, getting the theory aspect of it, getting the practical aspect of it, learning to manage your your own plants, nurture them, grow them to, uh, to, to the maximum stage of which they could ever reach. It's been a great experience. The work here is very stressful at the same time, it's very interesting to me. When you first started, you may feel reluctant that why are you doing this, why are you doing that. But as you are doing it, you definitely find joy in it. I've learned a lot in this program. Now I can only say I can face and tackle a lot of challenges in greenhouse cultivation. And I also learned how to relate with people. Okay. My experience so far has been a learning one in the Learn, Work and Earn program. I've been able to manage the open field cultivation with different varieties of crops planted there, as well as the greenhouse cultivation. I was able to own and manage one from start to finish. And as well, I've been able to end during the course of this program, we've had different stages of cultivation from 
nothing up to the harvest level. And at each quarter, we had a different experience learning through each of them. Just like I said before, I feel incredibly fulfilling because it's been an exciting journey all the way. I'm so, so happy to be part of this. Ah, I feel great because I think I mean, with this period, I learned a lot of things pertaining greenhouse farming, soilless, and agriculture, which I don't even have an idea of it before. But after the completion, I think I can mostly say that, yes, I have some knowledge of greenhouse farming. I feel great. I feel excited. It's not just me going out. It's because I've been able to do something I never imagined I could come across. Yes learning to work with um, different people from different backgrounds, from different fields of study, coming together to do great things together. Yeah, it's been so wonderful. I feel fulfilled and I'm happy in the sense that before I get into this program, I don't know how to, how to, I don't know how to manage open field, not the talk of the greenhouses, but at the end of the program, I can say that I can manage both your feet and the greenhouse. I feel so happy about this. I'm so happy for being part of the people that ensure food security to the nation. We did this one year of my service, and I'm also happy for the knowledge I've acquired so far. Well, for the truth, I'm very happy because this period has opened my mind to a lot of uh, things. I learned back then in school in Agri. It has given me the experience of uh, having to know what Agri is all about, what crop production specifically is all about. I, I will start by saying adaptability um, because this is, an, this is an environment, so one of the key tenants for effectively working is adaptability. I was, which I'm, I was able to adapt to not just the environment, to the tax, to the job, to everything that has been done here. I was able to incorporate, open up to everything, to seeing that all the technologies, everything that is set, I get used to it and all those things. Then secondly, um, time management. Yes, um, you see that everything that concerns agri has to do with time, being time conscious, managing your greenhouse, knowing when to feed the plants, knowing when to apply um, certain nutrients and all these things. So, and also not just limiting yourself to the agri space, being able to live your normal life as a farmer. So being time conscious and managing your time effectively will help you do that. So those were two things I could single-handedly regulate myself over. No knowledge is waste. No matter what you study, you can still gain knowledge outside of what you study. And secondly, do not limit yourself to anything. You can gain more than what you know. There's more to gain outside what you know. The lesson I've acquired so far is once you put your mind to something, you can actually do it. Yes, I see myself doing the things I never imagined. So my lesson so far is once when I place my mind or my heart at something, I can actually achieve it. Apart from the greenhouse management, additional skills that I acquired and I say is very important is the interpersonal relationship. Because without the people, you cannot manage it alone. So you need the people for you to be able to manage it very well. I learned how to believe myself. Also then about gender equality. One significant lesson I've learned in this program is um, diligence. Diligence. I say diligence leads to success. I've been able to diligently manage a greenhouse from start to finish, as well as I've been able to have interpersonal relation skills with my fellow colleagues. I've been able to brainstorm, been able to also multitask because it wasn't really easy 
managing the open field as well as, as, well as caring for the greenhouse, owning one and managing it. So these skills so far has fostered my, my growth. It has given me um, an overview of how life is and what life really entails. I will say um, so far so good. I'm going to leverage on this hands-on knowledge I've gotten from this um, workspace to see that um, because you know that currently in our nation one of the um, challenges we face is food insecurity and all of that so with my knowledge on this I I want to be one of the persons that will actually supply enough food for the nation be there for the nation ensure that food is being adequately supplied being made available and affordable to everyone before coming to this farm, I have always had interest in agriculture and I believe that after the work, uh, Learn, Work and End program, which I have gained knowledge, in going outside there, opening a greenhouse or a farm would be a difficulty for me. And I know and I'm pretty sure that if I go outside, I can open my farm confidently and cultivate the crops on mine with this knowledge I've acquired in this place. For all I've gathered so far, I, I... I can say it's, it has really grown me beyond what I could ever imagine. In the actual sense that nurturing a plant requires patience, it requires discipline. Because if you are not disciplined enough, if you are not patient enough, you cannot acquire the results that you actually need. This will actually help me in all my future endeavors to implement all that I've learned here and make me the person I envision myself to. Because now I can say I can manage the game as well. Be respectful for whatever I'm doing in the future. I hope to practice the greenhouse plan, whether for myself or I can even venture into it as a business. I think with the knowledge I've got here, I can set up my own idea of this farm, manage it and make profits from it. I'll introduce a comprehensive digital platform that integrates um, weather forecast, data analytics, um, market trend, and possibly good agricultural practices that seeks to foster good yield to farmers. Um, this is just to empower farmers in Nigeria and beyond to actually leverage on the real-time information. This is very, very important and keen because for me, um, I was not really very well informed about this. So um, for me, I think one of the ways to encourage young minds, youths, about um, leveraging on this innovative skill when venturing into the field of agriculture, one is um, creating awareness and educating young minds. I feel um, this should be incorporated in our school curriculum where young ones will be taught what agri is all about because most persons don't really get to an understanding of what agri all entails. Then secondly, I feel uh, there should be a demonstration farm where people can go to to gain hands-on experience of what growing crops production is all about and all those things. Then another thing I would say is um, access to resources, yes. There should be available resources such as funding, um, land availability, loans, grants to um, people who are ready to undertake these tax so they can actually find efficiency in adequately cultivating crops. One of them is uh, combating botitis that is fungal attack when the plants were growing up. And the second is uh, multiple toilets. It was really ethic, I can say. For the fungal attack, uh, it really gave me sleepless night, but at the end, at least I came out of it and the plants came back to normal. And for the multiple trellising, oh, that one I can say is the most ethic part of the work because yeah, you have to use all your time, dedicate your time so that the plants won't fall down. But with time, I became perfect in doing it. So number one for me takes hard work take consistency and it take a uh, let me say patience during my um, learning 
I could remember, I faced two major challenges of which, you know, I said, it's, it's not my fate. I've never had the theory aspect of it, not to talk of the practical. But during my course of learning here, I faced the first major challenge I faced was botrytis and migraines. This is a fungal attack. They, with the help of my senior colleagues, and with the help of my teammates, with the help of research here and there, I was able to overcome it. Of which I know that um, going forward, it can, if at all it's want to reoccur, I've gotten them more experience on how to manage this. And apart from being a supervisor of Tele and I was at toward the end of my program, I contribute significantly to the development of our nutrient formulation, which we are now using in greenhouses because all the plants that we are planting, there is a different nutrient we are giving them in different way. So I'm one of those people that spread that. I'm very grateful for the opportunity, despite the fact that I'm a sleep engineering student, but at the same time, I find happiness in doing it. And the knowledge that I acquire, I'm not going to be using for myself. Irrespective of where that knowledge is needed, I'm fully ready to share it so that the food production is going to increase in our country. I really have my life, as it changed my life. I've gained a lot of knowledge throughout this my one year of NYC service and I'm really happy. Thank you. Thank you, Fuente Farm, for this vast knowledge, for this opportunity you've given to youths of today to acquire skills, to acquire knowledge, even far beyond what we could ever imagine. So, Fuente Management, I say thank you. I say God bless you. This has been a wonderful experience for me. Thank you, Fuente, for giving me this opportunity. And I'm also grateful for the knowledge I've acquired so far. I'll say a big shout out to Fuente Farm. Uh, it is, like I said from the onset, it's been incredibly fulfilling for me. And it's been an exciting one, and do little ups and downs. But again, this is what the youth, our world needs. People who will not just sit and watch things happen, but will make things happen. So I'm so happy for Fuente for this ample opportunity to be part of this work, learn and learn.